the benefits of, of this site, we, we have, if I'm, if I'm right, four squares in Christchurch, and so we've always known them as part of our sort of history. Uh, there'll be Cathedral Square, Victoria Square, Latimer, and this one's Cramner. So it's always in my mind, or our minds, had an important sort of location, or loci as they call it. And because it's um, probably, as, as we know, a square from say the uh, European continents, you know, it's possibly why we're called an English city, because it has some of those sort of landscape integrated architectural designs about a square and the urban scale of that. So it's very special because it fronts onto one of those. It looks south, uh, west, uh, and west to the square. The other benefits, of course, locally is that it's, you know, almost um, in a city. The town hall is down the end of the street. Um, you know, there's various bars, restaurants and sort of like that you can walk to. So our vision for the landscape development at Cremant Terrace is this to, rather than have gardens fitting around the built form, is to you know, actually create an environment or bring to life an environment where the, the built form is nestled within beautiful landscape gardens. You know, very much pulling from the character and identity of Christchurch City as the Garden City. So, you know, through honouring the heritage of the site, um, using traditional English style gardens, traditional plant forms and types, um, very much to set the table and provide a backdrop for the, the built forms to be nestled within. Um, you know, and given the site's history, um, giving the impression of timelessness, maturity and growth, and that, that through, food, through further time, um, and maturity and growth will only continue to improve the experience of living at Crimmon Terraces. It was really important to us when, um, when envisioning or, or bringing to life the landscape design that we paid respect to the, the frontages of Kilmore Street and Montreal St Street. So, through garden beds which speak to the street and avenues of small courtyard trees, providing that separation but then creating two really nice um, elevations along those street frontages which complement the building. So the, what we have uh, for our design inspiration is a, an idea of terrace houses, there are 44 of them uh, and the first sort of move or design move we worked out was that we needed to, in our minds, remember the old building that was there. So there, there are two wings, the southern and the western wings are almost on the street as it was in those days with the old Victorian building. The design then started with the two street frontages of Kilmore and Montreal. Uh, right on the street. There is in fact enough space for a block, two blocks within the centre of the of the scheme which um, I think is shown on this, our image. We we started with the um, the tone of the stonework that was from the Victorian Gothic and thought about what if we replace that southern wing with uh, something very similar. So the, the obvious um, for us would have been a material called brick uh, which has a masonry feel and a solidity and it will probably attenuate the noise. It gives you this idea of permanence. And then on the inside, we thought, well, hang on a minute. We've got black and we've got red. What other colours can we do to sort of create a little micro community of each row of terrace houses? So the obvious ones in Peterborough Street, the, the remaining seven houses there, they're all in a white block plaster finish. Uh, so we thought the northern block maybe we do that in white because I'm thinking they'll have a conversation with those existing houses. The interior design uh, features uh, what we would consider to be um, a very simple palette of materials. Uh, generally we like to use a lot of clean whites or maybe some greys or even some blacks just to accent. The owner of any, any of our terrace houses can and instill what they might feel of their personality. So that's sort of all layered through the design to, to make it in our minds work out how we can produce a very uh, almost collegiate feel to the buildings, a very Christchurch, say vernacular we might say, um, that the, uh, the terrace houses will provide and as they grow older and the landscape grows as well then it will create its own heritage.